Hey, so I wonder if when someone is speaking to God, if what's actually happening is that they're speaking and their mind is answering them back. Because I've had this experience a few times back about two months ago in, in the car. I was talking. I think I made a video about it. I was talking in the car like about something and then I just answered myself, but I didn't realize I, I, and then I and then I responded to myself again and I was like whoa and then I realized what happened and I was like whoa I was just talking to myself like that doesn't you know that's but it was like an interesting like I was learning it was like I was talking to my subconscious so is that what it is when people speak to God you, you get to a point where that's what they call it speaking to God whatever you want to call it you're communicating with yourself people you get your body to a, a point where it's comfortable enough and re, like relaxed enough where your consciousness is like in control and uh, yeah you can speak to your subconscious and it will answer you and you'll learn from it maybe that's what I'm doing with these videos maybe that's what I'm attempting to do That is what I'm attempting to do. That's fucking intense. But here's the thing. I read a comment from Projection1234 who, as far as I know, is... I just know that whoever, if it's a guy or a girl, I don't know. I think it's a guy for some reason. Um, he's really smart. And he leaves these like kind of sarcastic, witty comments. He's been leaving comments. You've been leaving comments, dude, for like a week, two, no, three weeks, a month. Time, like I lose all sense of time these days. What is time anyway? It's just a concept. It's not real. Like if you, I think maybe that's why people go crazy if they stay up for for days, is because they're. Me and Dominic were talking about this because they're just, they realize, Dominic, is actually Dominic said this because they realize there's no time. You just, everything's just the same always. You know, the, the, it gets dark and light, but and the seasons change. But other than that, and your body's like, die, but time isn't real. Um, anyway, wow, I really got off track. But Projection made a comment about uh, responding to, to Gail. What you're saying is very, Gail was like, Ian, if you're real, oh God. Basically being like, oh, asking me a bunch of questions, which maybe I'll take a look at. If you're real and not just another lonely boy 15, then you seriously need to step away from the screen. YouTube stick and video games and weed, where's the reality in your life? All that is fine and small, all that is fine in small doses. Oh, all that is fine in small doses, but you need to step outside your door, maybe do some volunteer work. You just might find the answer to a lot of your inner turmoil if you start focusing on helping others. Time to grow up and stop being so self-centered. Peace. I didn't used to be self-centered. I've kind of grown up and become self-centered. I've learned. I mean, I've, I've always been very much about the other person. I've always been very exocentric, but that's changed about eight months ago and it's it's just changing slowly towards more about me having my own experience like Buddhism but not but more aggressive than Buddhism it's it's like an amalgamation of a lot of different ways of thought I'm really interested in everything you know you put it all together and people are really onto something but we just label it all different shit and we just bicker about it. Really, we all want to fucking do the same thing, which is connect. <sighs> okay. My point about this is that this is what I, I want to speak to my subconscious. So projection responds with, hey, that's some great advice. However, nothing in the world involves these concepts. These concepts are artificial, closed, and blocked. Projections, he's been talking a lot about projection. Because I, I made a comment about projection a while back. How you're projecting yourself or something. I don't know. 
Anyway, the last thing Projection said was, the community remains hopeful for an epiphany from this young man. And when I read that comment, it fucking hit me hard. Because what I realized is, yeah, he is critical and pissed off sometimes. But he remains hopeful for an epiphany from me because he knows he's capable of it. And of course we're capable of it. We're all capable of having this big epiphany. And that's what I want to do. And I think the more people that are involved doing it, working towards it, the faster that it'll happen. That was a, a comment made by... Uh, Fuck, who said that? Oh, fucking Brian. Not so normal. Dude, this guy is a genius. Brian, I can't wait to talk to you, man. Uh, yeah, check out his videos. He's fucking... He's onto it. Fuck. He had a video where he was, like, tripping. And just... It was amazing. Like, to put yourself... To experience, you know, just to, to watch yourself hold nothing back. I mean, sexuality is excessive. Maybe that's why people are so afraid of it, because it's not important. And we realize that, so we try and subdue it, but you got to kind of be open about it and, and so you can be able to subdue it. Okay. I'm going way on. I change the subject a lot. I'm really. This is big. I want to. I want to experience that. You know where you you talk. You're talking to yourself. You're talking to God. You're talking to your su your subconscious. You're talking to something that you're not normally aware of. And of course, it's just you. It's me. And I'm I'm talking to a part of myself. Because if you let it happen and not be freaked out by it, it's interesting. I, I think a lot, I could see a lot of people being like, it's crazy. And I think that that's just an extreme reaction because it's, you know, it's easy to get angry about someone talking about really wild stuff, but just because it's wild doesn't mean that it doesn't have some basis in reality. I don't think it's crazy. I think it's incredibly interesting. And if we do it together and we don't isolate, no one's gonna go nuts. I mean, no more nuts than everyone else. All right, guys, I'll see you later.